All right, guys, what's going on? We've got the 11th War of Season 23 here, and today for Loki is going to be facing D6-9. Um, these guys are um, pretty pretty consistently in Masters. Um, I don't think that they used to be. I think they used to fall in Platinum 1 a lot. But it looks like they've started focusing a lot more on War. So, yeah. Um, and for Loki, as you guys know, have had a rough season. We need to win this one or the next one to finish in Masters. So the stakes are pretty high here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at their defense. I see Nick Fury on um, on that heavy hitter and power alternator note. I have a feeling I'm going to be taking that fight. Let's see here. Um, Blade on kinetic transference. That's pretty, pretty common. Sorcerer Supreme on power snack. That's just to stop Quake from taking it. Um, Void on node 23. That I don't think I've seen before. Um, it's pretty good placement. I'm assuming Pete will just take that with his ghost. Um, two metal champions on path one and section one. I don't think that that is ever wise. But then again, you're not really going to pick up kills on that lane usually. Unless something goes like horribly, horribly wrong. Um, Immortal Abomination on Path 8 in Section 2. That's really tough placement. Um, his power gets really out of control there really fast. Um, Thing and Magneto on Sun Reflect, also pretty common. Uh, Darkhawk on Kinetic Transference and Powerful from Afar. That's pretty good placement. Doom Boss and Killmonger on Stunning Reflection. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and uh, select our team here and join. So we are going to be bringing in Omega Red, Sabretooth, and Quake. And you can see my mastery points are going to be really weird during this. That's because they're going to change constantly. I was doing an Abyss Path during this war, so... Um, yeah, okay, so this first fight... Um, I would normally just fast forward through this, but it's so fast that... There's really no reason to. So with Quake, what you want to do is you want to get, um, like he has the protection right now, you want to get to where you have the two concussions on him at once when the aftershocks expire. And then right at the end here, I'm going to let go of my heavy. And while he still has a concussion up, um, I'm not going to get the fury and he's not going to get his protection. So it basically completely shuts the node off. So very easy fight with Quake. Again, this is going to be maybe 40 seconds. Yeah, very, very easy, very straightforward and actually pretty common. Pretty common placement. So, um, okay, let's go into this next one. This is going to be Mole Man. I think this is just a rank two Mole Man. And this is a heavy hitter. So... For anyone other than Omega, I could see this being a little bit tricky because Mole Man can uh, shrug off stuns, kind of similar to Kingpin. And yeah, but for Omega Red, this is going to be very easy. We're going to lock in our spores. We're just going to parry a bunch. Uh, we need to keep an eye on our Fury timer here because when that expires, he's going to shrug our stun. We don't want to be in the middle of a heavy attack when he does that. So we've got 25 spores on him right now. And yeah, fight's over. Really straightforward, really easy. All right, and then moving on now to our next fight. This is going to be a rank three Nick Fury on heavy hitter and power alternator. So going into this fight, I knew that power alternator is bugged currently. It combines your power instead of swapping it. And um, also Omega Red's special two in war is not something that you want to use. It is definitely not safe to use his special two in war. The second part will usually get blocked and you will just get hit. So my plan going into this fight was to just push him to special three. So I'm building up a good amount of spores. I'm gonna try to re-parry here when I can. There, I was a little bit early um, punishing his uh, heavy attack with, with mine, so I didn't get the degen. But here, um, I'm just waiting for him to go into his second life. 
right there I probably should have rushed in and block hit him. Because the issue with this is that I'm going to end up getting cornered. So here I'm just going to throw my heavy attack for spacing. Again, uh, just going to throw it for spacing. So he is at 23% right now. He's just throwing heavy attacks over and over again. So I'm going to throw my special too. I shouldn't have done that. But again, if I was able to play this fight the way that I wanted to, um, I wouldn't have been having to hold my power in the first place. I would have been like baiting special attacks from him. So tank the special three. I was at 80% health. He hit me exactly three times, got rid of my, um, my indestructible charges. And yeah, just ended the fight from 80% health. So pretty frustrating. I've taken that fight several times before. I haven't died to it. Maybe I underestimated it this time going in. I'm not sure. But I really think that if it weren't for those two bugs, I, I know I would have uh, done that fight differently because I have uh, done it before without issue. So here I'm going to go in. I know the spacing for punishing his heavy attack with mine. And, um, and it was just off. So the second time I was early because I could tell that I was going to get hit with his heavy attack. So I was hoping that interrupting it would do something to help me, which it didn't. Um, but yeah, pretty frustrating. So here I'm just sharing energy and I'm going to move up to my section two fights, which is going to be this Colossus. Um, this is a, this is a really easy fight. People place him here all the time. I don't fully understand it, like, at all, um, but I also just don't think Colossus is, like, a great, um, I just don't think that he's a great defender. I think that maybe in other, uh, tiers, this could be, like, a good Corvus trap, but in tier one, like, you know, generally, like, everyone knows how to counter this fight, so... Here, I was just trying to get a little bit of healing, it didn't work out, he was a little bit too low health. But yeah, that fight is really straightforward. And we're going to move on now to our next fight here. And our next fight is going to be a magic. So magic with Omega Red, I probably could have used Quake for this fight too. Um, but magic with Omega Red, basically as long as you push her over a threshold of power, um, with your tentacle hit, so that's like a medium attack, a special attack, or a heavy attack. You're not going to take any limbo damage from her. So, I'm just, I don't even know why I healed. I probably could have just gotten willpower healing from this fight. But I basically just don't want her using special attacks. And I don't want to use dexterity at all. Um, because if I push her over a bar of power with mystic dispersion... Um, I'm going to take the limbo damage. So here we're just going to do like one or two hits at a time. Block to build up spores. Here's just being like a little bit annoying, but not a huge deal. She will still regain her health, um, but you just won't take the damage from her limbo. So here, um, 30 seconds in fights over super super straightforward okay so for this next fight here we're going to remove dexterity and we're going to take this man thing this is going to be a rank three six star man thing on vigorous assault i don't think that this is the node that he belongs on i think that he should be on path one and section one um, because the arc overload makes this harder on this node he can just be quaked um and it's super easy, so... But I do think that he can be really problematic on Path 1 and Section 1, so... We are going to go in here, no dexterity. Um, if you are in the corner and Man-Thing throws a heavy attack and your muscle memory kicks in and you, and you dash back, um, if you have dexterity on, it'll trigger dex, and then you're gonna... You run the risk if you're playing parry style, which you have to, of him putting his... Um, his buffs on you. It's not what you want. So, um, but you can also evade his heavy attack in the corner without dexterity, so it's just safer to do it this way. So here we go. We're 
Just a little bit over a minute into the fight. It's almost over. I thought that this cycle was going to kill him, but it actually doesn't. It comes really close. But you can see here one more, and it's a like second tick of the next cycle when, uh, takes him out. So I'm going to put Dexterity back on. And at this point in the war, it was very, very close. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take this rank 3 Killmonger. This is Polka Dot Power and Stunning Reflection. This fight, um, this fight can get really dicey if you get cornered. So what I'm going to do to try to avoid getting cornered is I used to always start with a heavy attack. Here I'm going to start with a combo instead. Get him into his corner and then I'm going to start locking in my degen. So um, I didn't used to do this. I used to just immediately start with a heavy and then start backing him up. I think this is definitely the safer way to go with this fight. And then also, um, I don't, if he has power, I won't finish my combo. I'll stop my combo early and go straight into a block. So right here you can see I'm going to do three hits and then block before he can recover from my hit. That'll stop him from throwing special attacks usually. Um, so here we go, fight's over. Super easy, that was probably one of my better um, Killmonger takedowns on this node. 25 hits so yeah that's actually the end of my war um pretty frustrated with that death and what makes it even more frustrating is the fact that we lost to this war we lost by one attack bonus um again we're just we're just not really having a great season that was my third death of the season and um and yeah i mean it's just i'm not sure what's going on with us, but this puts us in a position to where we absolutely have to win our last war of the season. We're actually in the middle of that last war right now, um, so I will go ahead and get that uploaded as soon as possible. But yeah, hopefully we can finish in Masters. If not, it's not the worst thing. Like we can still, you know, tier two alphas and the platinum one rewards. The platinum one rewards are arguably better, but um, we still want to finish in Masters. So. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.